Western Hills. I'm a team captain. I'm a leader. I'm a wrestler. I'm a football player. I'm an IB student. I'm a gamer. You know, I'm a brother. I'm a ginger, and we are Western, Western Hills. Hills. Thanks, guys. How about our Cougar wrestlers? And welcome to Cougar Paws. I'm Michael Miller. And I'm Denver Blackwell. And today is December 4th, 2014. We are 9 plus 10. That's 21 days away from Christmas. If your teacher doesn't get the joke, please show them the vine right now. Right now. But anyhow, we hope you are having a great first week back. Two weeks and one day until you're on break. So you have that to motivate you to write that essay or read that book or cry yourself to sleep at night thinking about grades. Please stand for the Pledges of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Upon the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Looking to have some fun and do some good in the process? Check out Holidays at the Hills. Holidays at the Hills will be held Friday, December 5th after school in the cafeteria from 5 to 7 p.m. All proceeds will benefit Autism Speaks. Come out and have a great time as we bring the community together for this fun winter event. The 2014 football banquet will be held on December 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. at New River Church in Benbrook. All players, cheerleaders, and student trainers are free, but you must RSVP to Coach Moylan by this Friday, December 5th. All parents and family that attend will be $12, and you need to RSVP and prepay for those guests as well. Postseason awards and all district winners will be announced. Make sure to have your RSVP for you and your guests by Friday, December 5th to Coach Moylan. The Student Leaders Cougar Pride Group will meet on Wednesday, December 10th in the library at lunchtime. All members of the Pride Group should plan to meet with Mr. Wellman for discussion of upcoming events. Lunch will be provided. On Monday, we brought you a story about the Theater Arts Department's next production. They are currently preparing the Christmas Bells for presentation December 16th and 17th at 7 p.m. in the Black Box Theater. This show is a southern farce about a church program that spins out of control as three squabbling Futrell sisters reveal family secrets and try to deal with the consequences of their questionable life choices in the small town of Faro, Texas. We'll keep you posted about tickets and when they go on sale. The library will be closed during testing Monday through Friday this week until all testing is finished for the day. Our very own correspondent, Austin Powell, is developing a series in which we take a look at current events and how it's shaping our world today. On our very first episode of What You Should Know, Austin Powell takes a look at what's happening in Ferguson. Hello, I'm Austin Powell, and this is What You Should Know. Recently, at a Raiders-Rams NFL football game, the players are being introduced out of the tunnel. You know, the usual. But this time, five starters for the St. Louis Rams came out and did something different. They came out with their hands up in light of the recent events in Ferguson, which is 20 minutes outside of St. Louis. The act was supposed to acknowledge their support for the family of Michael Brown, a simple act of free speech that was forgotten about, and the Rams went on to beat the Raiders 52-0. End of story, right? Wrong. Instead of talking about the absolute bum kicking like people should have, all that was in the news was their introductory statement that was forgotten about. The St. Louis Police Department, we'll call them the First Amendment forgetters, demanded that the players be fined and or suspended, you know, punishing people for saying opinions. Luckily, the NFL is smart and realizes this is a protected amendment, so they decided not to punish the players. But that's not really the part I wanted to tell you about. The part you should know is that this is the proper way to protest, no matter the issue, whether racism, politics, or something that invokes a bunch of emotion, writing is never the answer. Yes, they made the issue big and in national media, but lawmakers are calling the writers, whether they're white, black, Asian, Mexican, it doesn't matter, barbarians, not martyrs. Obama said it best, no law was changed because a car was burned. The only true way to get change is to use emotionally charged speeches and be educated about the subject. Use what you learn in English class to use your words to create change. This is the only real way. Yes, they made the national media for this, 
but now a town that was already poor will be poor. They burned down the few businesses they had supporting the area with taxes and such, and the only grocery store they had was burned to the ground. You think those businesses will come back to the area? No. The main thing to learn from this is to think before you act. Use your words to fight battles, not Molotov cocktails and tear gas. I'm Austin Powell, and that's what you needed to know. Thank you, Austin. And that is all we have to bring you today. From all of us here at Cougar Paws, we want you all to have a great rest of the week. Thanks, Austin. Thanks, Austin. Thank you, Austin. You want me to say thank you? You want me to say thank you? Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Austin.